A woman spends her entire fortune and buys all the colored lights in the store just to save her son who has gone missing. He returns home, removes the painting, nails it to the wall, takes out all the colored lights he bought, and hands them all over the house. Afterward, the colored lights in the house kept flickering strangely. He seemed to understand that this was a signal from his missing son. The mother again took out a string of colored lights, then hid in the cupboard and began to talk to her son. When he called out his son's name, the light suddenly came on. He then tells his son that the lights flash once for yes and twice for no. As soon as the mother speaks, the lights begin to flash once, and then he asks his son if he is still alive. The lights came on again, and the mother was finally relieved to learn that her son was alive. When he asked again if his son was safe, the lights flashed twice, and the mother became anxious again. He didn't know what he would have to do to find his son, so he came up with an idea. Take out a paintbrush, and write 26 letters all over the wall to talk to his son. After writing, he asked his son where he was. The letters began to shine. I G H T H E R E. Right here, she didn't understand what this meant and the mom asked her son, What do I have to do to find you? Suddenly, the colored lights begin to send a new signal. You. And all the colored lights in the house keep flashing, signaling danger. The mother turned around to see a bizarre crack in the wall and a disgusting monster crawling out of it. The mother is so frightened that she flees the room. Meanwhile, the police found a doll by the river, which they thought was Will, who they had been looking for for a long time. The police came to Will's house and told his mother that the search and rescue team had found something in the water of the market, and they thought that it was Will, and analyzed that he had fallen down on his bike and walked to the river by accident. When his mother heard the news, she dismissed his story outright. However you found, it wasn't my son, because just half an hour ago, was talking to his own son, he rushed to the cabinet and pulled out the colored lights, describing to the sheriff the conversation he had just had with Will, as well as the letters on the wall and the monster that had appeared. They didn't believe anything was mom said at all. Even his brother thought his mother had gone crazy. Instead of being here in a frenzy and imagining he was still alive, mother is very angry when she hears this. Even though everyone doesn't believe her, the mother has to do everything she can to save her son. Meanwhile, Dr. Hawkins' laboratory brings a group of men to the secret underground base and lets one of the experimenters up. The cop peels back layers of nasty web goo with his bare hands, then drills right in. When they first go in, they are able to report on the news inside, followed by the eerie, horrifying sound of tearing. The boy leaps to save his best friend and jumps off a 10,000 mile cliff. Strangely enough, he was suspended in midair. The other little friends were afraid to speak when they saw this scene. Just as they looked puzzled, the little boy miraculously floated back to the ground. At this time, the little girl who appeared with a displeased face walked up and she used her mind to directly send Tom flying several meters away. Then with a twist of her neck, Tony's arm was broken, seeing that he was no match for the bully. The bully was so scared that it fled. It turned out that the two boys were chased to the edge of the cliff because they were chased by the school bully. The bully threatened Dustin with a dagger and told his friend to jump off the cliff and let him go. Mike had no choice but to jump off the cliff to save Dustin. The little girl also passed out due to the overuse of her powers. In his dream, he sees a creepy monster and is woken up by his best friend just as he goes up to it. Just as they get home, Lucas delivers the bad news. that the lab's doctor is leading a large army. It turns out that little girl 11 is the doctor's daughter and she escaped from the lab. So Mike took the little girl to escape from the back door and rushed to the intersection. The doctor has already got off the car to block the way. 11 looked at his father's eyes so helpless, Mike rode a bicycle and took him to run to the small road. After hurriedly scurrying out of the intersection, he met up with Lucas, thinking they had lost them. They had just stopped when the bad guys came after them. Just as they continue to run, they are intercepted by a vehicle in front of them. Seeing that they are about to collide with the car, Eleven immediately stares at the big car in front of them with a dead eye and uses his superpower idea to directly clip it over. This finally got rid of them. The doctor looked at their departing backs and didn't seem to feel the slightest bit of panic. Mike and the others then hid in a debris field and were discussing how to find the entrance to the lab and rescue their good friend Will. There was a sound from the sky, and when they looked up, the doctor had actually shot out a helicopter to search for them. Seeing that the situation is not good, they hide their bikes under the car and rush to hide in the ruins of the bus. At the same time received a call from Mike's sister. It turned out that the sheriff and they also know all the things. Let Mike rush to report the location to go to the rescue. After a while, the doctor's search team has found a hiding place, and the bad guys are about to enter the car. The moment of crisis. The bad guys were actually a sneak attack knocked out on the ground. The children stood up in a daze, but fortunately, the sheriff arrived in time to save them.